Yeah, I think the um, what you were speaking about as far as the recommendation letter uh, for the book that uh, made the career of this individual, that's what we refer to in the business as leverage. And when you can uh, gain that advantage over anybody, friend or foe, uh, there are definitely people in this world who will use those tools to their advantage. And it sounds like you've yeah. been experiencing a little bit of that here recently. Yeah, well, uh, you know, I used to be really big into true crime. So I knew about uh, L. Ron Hubbard and Scientology sort of from that aspect. And, you know, a brief bit of Crowley and Jack Parsons. Um, but I didn't know that uh, specifically, you know, Jolly West was an outspoken critic of Scientology, apparently. Um, so now I'm going through L. Ron's history, specifically going through all of his FOIA documents um, and trying to lay out the argument against what this author is stating because this author only wants to focus on Tom O'Neill's book, Chaos. Um, I'm not like a Tom O'Neill fangirl, but I do think that Tom O'Neill did a good job. Um, I don't fault him at all. <laughs> uh, and it, he was very honest about how long it took him. Um, but, you know, he basically mocks Tom O'Neill uh, about, you know, Jolly being his white whale that he's never going to catch. Um, and only wants proof of Jolly and controlling Manson won't talk about the Violence Prevention Center, won't talk about the False Memory Syndrome Foundation, 